Because when in doubt, always lead by example. It's the most powerful thing you can do as a leader is leading by example. You want more energy in the office? Have more energy. You want more proactivity? Share with the team how you're being proactive. Demonstrate it. You want to come up with better ideas? Why don't you come up with some? It is the most impactful, and it's free. You can go back and do it today. Guarantee you, let me know in a few weeks. Hey, this is really good. Hey. You cannot, you cannot sell buy-in. And a lot of people do it. Hey, I've got, so they have a half-baked idea. They go and they just pitch it. So this is what we're going to do. It's great, right? I'm your boss. And you're like, yeah, it's great, right? You like my idea? I mean, what do you think people are going to say? If you want buy-in, you need to have a two-way exchange. And you're the leader, and you're going to make tough decisions that are not going to be popular. They're going to be tough, and that's your job. And that's OK. But if you want buy-in, it's got to be a two-way exchange. And this is very basic, as most things in life, right? Want to lose weight? Exercise. Stop eating. Whatever. You will only be as successful as you can effectively delegate. And that means trusting your team, hiring great people and trusting your team, letting them fail, letting them grow, will allow you to fail and grow and work on your own professional development. And I talked about earlier as like working on yourself, but I want to talk about Founders that might not be the best leaders today. It's okay. You know, I, it, it's tough. Founders have a lot of stress, a lot of worry. I get it. But you know, at Creative Niche, we work with a lot of tech companies. We work with a lot of founders. And I just I have a soft spot for them. So I end up coaching them and chatting with them. And I can tell you, we've seen some really great things of people coming around. Improving their employer brand. Like nobody wanted to work there. They made investments, they did the work, they fired a couple bad toxic leaders, they're leading by example. You can turn it around, it is never, never too late. And the last one I want to really land on was for me, I got these confused. I thought they were the same. I thought they were the same. But being respected as a leader is so much more important than being liked. Are you consistent? Are you showing up? Are you fair? Do you lead by example? Do you walk the talk? Do you acknowledge people? Are you thoughtful? That is the most important, is being respected, not feared, but respected by your team. Not just your boss, not just your investor, everyone in your company. And as I close, I just want to share with you that whether you are a future leader, you're an executive, or founder, having the willingness to put your ego aside and understand your insecurities and how they're showing up and doing the hard work, I guarantee you is going to be the best investment you'll ever make in your career. And some people would say life. And the world needs Great leaders. Great leaders. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.